Hey everybody, it's Danielle here from DKW Styling. Okay, so sorry I haven't been doing a few videos lately, but I wanted to kind of come to you with some spring styles for 2011 as far as makeup, hair color, styles, and things like that. Um, so I noticed with makeup, the liquid eyeliner is still big. Um, and I just found the most amazing liner because I feel like with liquid, li liquid liner, it's hard to get it to blend on top so that you don't look like you just took a Sharpie and, and drew on your eyeliner on top. So I don't know if any of you ladies have heard of this. It's Trish McVoy. I got it at Nordstrom's. And it's like the best combination between a liquid and a pencil. So it's very pigmented and you it's waterproof and you can actually go, I usually line the top of my lashes and then I kind of go in underneath and like smudge it in between. Because if you have a space where your liner is and your lashes are, it actually closes your eyes. So you wanna make sure you can get it as close to the lash line as possible so that it makes your eyelashes look really long and your eyes stand out more. So I'm gonna like look in my mirror and do one eye so you can see the difference it makes. And then I know everyone's gonna to wanna to go get this because it's amazing. So anyways, okay, <laughs> so I'm back. And I don't know if you can tell, I've done it on my right eye and you can just see how it kind of makes my lashes stand out a little bit more and you just want to make sure it's the other thing I like about this pencil is it has like this little smudgy thing on the end so you can kind of blend it um, with most liquid liners it's hard to do that um, because it's liquid and it smears easy um, another thing I noticed for spring is like the cat eye is kind of big so I just did my liner just very simple but if you want to add a little bit of that cat eye without I, I mean I don't like it too wingy <laughs> but if you just kind of pencil um, the corner a little bit and just barely drag it up. Um, it kind of is a fun way to uh, step up your eyeliner and make it a little bit more dramatic. Um, another makeup trend for spring that I found is still the liquid blush with a little bit of the uh, pink rosy cheek. Um, I prefer a liquid blush and um, I've used several but the one that I still love is by Sonia uh, Kashuk and you can just get it at Target and this color is Peony. So I love this one, this is a good one for, I wear it year round, but I, for spring I'll put a little bit more on, make my cheeks a little bit more rosy. Um, also red and hot pink lips is still in. Um, I love this gloss. I feel like lipstick is so hard to get perfect. And so I prefer just a really pigmented gloss because you can just throw it on and go. Um, I love this one by Buxom and Buxom is a lip plumper and the color of this one is Olivia. It's like gone, you can see. <laughs> but it's what I'm wearing right now and I love it. It's like a hot pink and it has just a little bit of a glitter. It's not too glittery, but I love this one. So that is kind of some of my makeup tricks for spring. But um, on this video, I'm gonna kind of talk about color, what's hot for spring. I've noticed the ombre and the melt are still pretty big right now and I have a feeling they're gonna be around a little bit longer. They're so easy to maintain and since I've been doing it with my color, it's actually made my blonde be a little bit healthier. Um, for those of you that watch my videos, you've noticed I've actually changed up my color a little bit. I wanted it a little bit lighter and more dramatic on top so I kind of did like a coppery color. I don't know if you can see in this lighting. I did like a coppery color on top. I like it a little bit more highlighted around my face so I just do like literally like one foil and I kind of angle them so it just kind of shows up around my face when I curl it. Um, but I kind of just lightened up my ends in the back and everywhere. Before in the fall I had kind of painted this all dark um, and it was more of the melt look and now I want the ombre. The difference between the ombre and the melt is the ombre is a little more dramatic where you see somebody that has pretty dark roots and the ends of their hair are pretty light and the melt is just kind of like a few random pieces lighter kind of showing through underneath. Um, you want to be careful when you're doing the ombre. You still want it to look professional um, unfortunately, I've seen a lot of really bad ombres where it looks like girls are just dipping their ends in bleach <laughs> and it doesn't blend. So make sure if this is a color that you're wanting to try for spring that you go to a professional who, is, who has done it before and that you're comfortable trying it. And once you try it, I think you'll really love it. Like I said, it's really easy on maintenance. Okay, so I'm going to do, I have a video on, it's called the five minute curl that I got a really good, lots of responses and people really liked it because it's a quick, easy way to style your hair. So I'm going to do like the revamp version of the five minute curl here in my bathroom. <laughs> so I'm gonna get started, I have hair extensions. I specialize in hair extensions as everybody knows. And what I do when I get started is I just pull up the top layer of my hair. And then I like, sometimes I use two different curling irons. 
I'll use like a bigger one on the bottom and a smaller one through the top to get a little, give it a little more wave and body. Um, so anyways, you wanna curl away from your face, start at the base so that you get a lot of curl here and then don't hold the ends in very long so you don't look like you have a ringlet. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by taking a first section that's about an inch big and sometimes if I wanna smooth out my hair a little bit, I'll run my curling iron down it a little bit. If it's kind of fuzzy, I have a little bit of natural wave and that kind of helps smooth it out. But you can see how I kind of left the ends out and I start at the base of the hair and kind of just loosely uh, do the ends. And then I'm gonna start with another section, kind of just running it through a couple times. Sometimes I don't run it through, but I feel like it just helps uh, smooth out the hair. Okay, so I just loosely pull that through and then after I get all the curls in, I kind of run through my fingers with it and loosen it up a little bit. And this usually only takes me about five minutes. And if I use a smaller curling yarn, I might use a smaller curling yarn on my real hair. My extension hair holds curl better, so I feel like I can use a bigger curling yarn. And it kind of loosens. I always start my hair a little bit curlier because I know within like an hour it's gonna fall and it's gonna look perfect. In the back, I just grab random pieces. And when I, I kind of start on one side and work my way to the back, and when I get about to the middle, I start on this side and curl all the way back. So I'm going to kind of start on this side. Um, if anybody ever has any questions on the method I do or product questions or you want to know where I get maybe my jewelry I'm wearing or anything like that, um, go ahead and post a comment and I will do my best to get back to you. Okay, while we're doing this, I have to show you my nails. I saw a girl that had this done and I thought it was so cute. I'm sure you guys have seen it, but you just paint one nail a different color. And I don't like like the funky prints. I'm more conservative, I guess. <laughs> but I thought if you keep a neutral, like I wouldn't do like a zebra print or anything like that, but I think just like one silver or like one gold would be really cute with like a springy color. So that, I'm just showing you, <laughs> is one of my cute little trends for spring as far as nails go. Okay, so. I'm kind of working my way back. And honestly, I prefer smaller curling iron because you don't have to leave it in the hair as long. A lot of people use the really big curling iron and you have to sit and hold it forever. So I feel like ladies, less heat is better. Um, and so instead of holding it with, you know, your hair in the heat forever, that to me would cause more breakage and damage if you have fine hair. So I would say go with a smaller curling iron and try it out and see if you like it. Um, a lot of people will get the ceramic curling irons, which are, I've tried those before, but I just like the, the metal ones because I feel like they heat up more. And like I said, I like the hotter ones. I set my curling irons at the hottest extensions or at the hottest uh, setting. And even on my real hair, I set it at the hottest setting. I just don't hold it in as long. To me personally, that's better on your hair than setting at a lower uh, heat setting and holding it on your hair longer. So try that at home. So you can see how cute that is. Like I just kind of mess with it a little bit. Anyway, it gives it just like a loose look. And then I'm gonna take down the top. So this is like a really, really little curling iron. I, don't, I think this is an inch. I mean, you can see how small that is, but sometimes I like that on my real hair. If I wanna create more like a wavy look, I'll sometimes even use a smaller curling iron. And just kind of, like I said, don't hold it in as long, but like, look how cute that is. So this is my five minute curl revamped for spring. <laughs> and in your bangs, don't hold it in for very long because you will have a ringlet bang. And you don't, you just want like a nice soft wave. So leave out the end. Okay, so I'm kind of doing the same thing. See how um, with the smaller curling iron, if your hair doesn't hold this curl as well, I like the smaller curling iron. I feel like it's like, it's a little bit quicker. So anyways, I'm gonna go around to this side. On my real hair, I grab a little bit bigger sections because my real hair is a little bit finer than my extension hair. So anyways, you can see I'm grabbing a little bit bigger sections, but look how quick this is. I mean, people will see and they're like, wow, she got all done up. And you're like, actually, this took me five minutes. So, you know, just because you look high maintenance doesn't mean you really are. It just means you know, you know the tricks, you know what you're doing. Okay, so I'm just about done. And 
I see how I go back in sometimes even with my smaller curling, curling iron at the base and it'll give you more body. So, and kind of play with it. Remember, curl everything away from your face, leaving out the ends, and those are kind of my two main tricks when I'm doing my curls. But I think that looks cute. You can throw a little bit of product in. I don't, I don't typically throw in a lot of product to start with. Um, if you have a heat protectant spray, try that. My hair is so fine, my real hair, that if I put too much product in to start with, by the time I get done, it almost feels like kind of greasy. So I don't do a ton of product to start with. When I finish, I'll use like an argon oil or something to kind of smooth everything out. Um, but I find with my hair, I, I can get away with washing it less if I'm not putting as much product in it. Um, and then it doesn't weigh it down. For the back, I honestly just grab, you know, random sections and kind of curl it. You'll kind of have to go back in with a mirror and check it out and make sure everything looks okay. But anyway, so for, yeah, so for my spring color tricks, um, the ombre and the meld are still in. Um, you know, you can just lighten up your ends and then it's like you feel lighter for spring without bleaching everything completely out. So that is just a spring trend I like for as far as color goes. And um, yeah, so anyways, stay tuned to my, my some more of my videos that I'm gonna be posting. Um, another one I'll be posting next week is some skincare products that I love. Um, and some of them you can get at the drugstore, which are like knockoffs of other ones. So I'm going to be doing another video about skincare products that I'm loving that are going to make your face very glowy and just shiny and beautiful and that. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Danielle. Uh, okay, so a little bit of a blooper. At the beginning of this video, I said that I was introducing some spring styles for 2011. We are no longer in 2011, so anyway, you guys are like, this is really outdated. Spring styles, 2012, stay tuned for next week. Thanks you guys, see ya.